Today I presented a research methodology for doing research with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities at the ECER at Glasgow University. And I trod the hallowed halls of academia and I was so aware as I did that what enormous privilege lands me in positions like this and I I think I did okay I think I represented the people that I'm working with well enough and I I described what we did but there are people who understand these lives far better than I ever will and who because of caring responsibilities can't take up or can't hold positions like mine and so I'm a stand-in in these places and I'm trying to do my best to represent people who in, in this context get referred to as the lost voices of research. But there's another side to today and it's a muddled, much more muddled thing. It's that I took lots of pictures of myself to see what I look like because I don't necessarily know how I'm being in a social space. I got occupied by the patterns on the floor and the movement of my skirt and I found myself in the shadows and the details and the event was made accessible to me not by the organisation, especially not by the changing of the timings of the presentations moments before delivery, but by another neurodivergent soul who spontaneously reached out to me last night and sent me photos and sent me a video walkthrough and made it a space I could access. And I'm there trying to convey voices other than mine, but I'm working inside places in which it's very difficult for me to find my voice and after all of today, I phoned my three-year-old and didn't have voice. And so it, it's, a, it's a muddled thing, but I, I think I did okay today.